Hi guys, it's Elizabeth and I thought it was time for a fun little vlog. Today is Sunday and yesterday and the day before I went on a trip with my mom uh, for some Young Living related stuff. But today I'm back on campus. I was really tired so I slept in this morning and I worked on some homework, watched some Netflix, and now I'm kind of bored. Um, I also have a weird story that will come later on about uh, my roommate thinks there's a, maybe a ghost in our dorm and well, she thinks it's a ghost. My friend thinks it's a poltergeist. I don't really believe in all that kind of thing, so, you know, just for fun and because I watched the show Supernatural, I decided to look up some stuff about it. And we're gonna go to Target and get some Halloween type stuff for fun. And what else? Gotta get some uh, poltergeist spreading supplies. So let's go. So, I haven't driven anywhere in like a week. I got in my car to drive to Target and literally it said it was like one point something miles away. It took me six minutes to get here. But y'all, the speed limit here is like 30 everywhere. And I'm used to driving like 65. Like this whole slow thing. Like I have a, I have a very, I have a lead foot when it comes to driving. So... Whatever, we're at Target now, so let's go inside. Hopefully it's not too crowded and I don't feel too ashamed of vlogging. Then again, no one knows me here, really, so I, it should be fine, right? That's how that works. Okay, y'all, I found the Halloween section. They have this huge Star Wars section and there's Star Wars shot glasses. I do need a shot glass, but not Star Wars. Also, it's in the Halloween candy area, and is it just me, or like, does Halloween candy all together just have like this one specific smell? You smell it, and it reminds you of like, the best time of the year. Okay, what does the fox say? What does the panda say? What does the unicorn say? This weird hat head trend is very, very strange. That's what Elizabeth says. Oh my gosh, there's a life-size BB-8. Oh my goodness, I need it. So far, my success has been finding actual glass shot glasses that I needed um, and finding salt because Supernatural has taught me that that's how you get rid of things, right? Okay, so I got most everything I think it would take to get rid of the ghost supposing it existed in my dorm. Oh. I will probably be ordering some sage essential oil next time I get a chance, supposing that the uh, said holy water, which is just going to be like salt water, uh, doesn't do anything. I'm not looking forward to getting this stuff back to my dorm, but I thought I'd real quick tell you a uh, story about what happened. So my roommate, her desk is like right beside my bed, there's walk in the room, my desk is by the door and then walk a little further, there's my bed up against the wall sticking out, and then there's her desk up against the wall, and then her bed in kind of the corner area, if that makes any sense. So like the two beds and the desk is in between them. And like there's some space between my bed and her bed and the, the desk. He has this cork board that sits on our desk, and it's really big, and it sits and it leans up against the wall. There will literally be times, no one's touched it, it'll be like in the middle of the night, or it will literally just like scoot itself back and fall onto the ground and I don't know it, it's very kind of creepy because of the fact that um, like no one does anything and not to mention there's a plug right behind it uh, in the wall and it manages to fall like in between the desk and the plug which is like a very small space and I don't know I don't believe in ghosts personally, um, which is why I'm probably about to activate one <laughs> typical white person in a horror movie, but no, I don't find it that scary, I just find it really weird. And it's kind of like almost halloween -y, so I thought, let's not, let's why not, let's do something, something a little creepy. I also want to show you something on my walk back. There's this figure of a monkey hanging from a tree that one of the people in the neighborhood has, and Oh, it's so creepy. When I first saw it, it's like just this cutout figure and it's swinging back and forth in the wind. It's kind of crazy. And it was so like creepy. I'm like, what the heck is hanging from that tree? Like, there's, there's a 
there's not supposed to be monkeys in Texas, y'all. So, I don't know, I wanna show y'all that on my way back to the dog. We'll see if I can film it. Okay. Y'all see it? It's just this black figure. Hey everybody, so I am back in my dorm. I thought I'd go over a little little bit of what we got during this fun little trip. Um, most of it was actually just stuff I needed for my dorm and for schoolwork. Um, but some of it was, you know, to scare away the non-existent ghosts. So first of all, I've been having to borrow my roommate's like Keurig machine and it doesn't have enough water in it, in my opinion, for the cups of tea that I make. Um, so this was on clearance at Target for like $13 and something, and it's basically like the same type deal, but it, I think it holds a little bit more water, and it's cheaper because it's not Keurig brand, and the tray is easier to clean out and stuff than the little cups. The cups are wasteful in my opinion because it's plastic and metal that you have to throw away. And I've heard things about the metal and the plastic like being having chemicals that are not good for you. So I don't know how true that is though. Got a really cute binder which I needed for uh, some of my Young Living stuff. I bought like a special thing that goes in a binder and uh, I needed a binder for it. And I thought it was fitting that it says live the life you've imagined. I got shot glasses for my Ningxia Red. I ended up, I have some plastic ones that I bought but I think I'll just use that to let people try it these will be for me. I got our 75 cent bottle of Ozarka spring water for Mr. Ghosty. Got an 89 cent container of salt. Two little spray bottles, um, one for the ghost water and one for uh, smell goods for our bathroom. And last but not least, I got this little thing in the Halloween stuff and it was only a dollar but its eyes pop out. I was hoping it would be a lot softer and squishier, but it's a cute little cat, and it's almost like a stress thing, but it's really hard to squish. Ah. So, thank you for so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like, and if you really liked it, you can go ahead and subscribe, and you can see all my other videos that are going to be coming up. Um, in fact, I think if you turn on the little bell thing, it'll alert you on your phone or computer whenever I post a new video, and that would be really cool because then you can watch it immediately. I um, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you sometime in the near future. Meanwhile, I've got homework to do, so I'll see you later. Bye!